Hi, this is a Chippy Education Program brought to you by Beringer Crawford Museum. Only two more days till Halloween. The countdown continues. Hi, Chippy fans. It's Miss Kim again. Do you have a computer? Do you like using it? Well, I have a friend, Miss Vanessa, who's going to show you all about computers today. Did you ever wonder how your computer got so smart? Well, it's only as smart as the people who give it instructions and tell it what to do. That is called coding. Coding is giving a computer instructions in a language that it understands. A set of instructions that a computer gets is called algorithms. That's a big word, isn't it? Can you say algorithms? Very good! One type of an algorithm is sequencing. Sequencing is putting something in proper order. It's the order that a programmer tells a computer so that it can make something happen. For example, when you brush your teeth, you have to open the toothpaste tube, you pick up your toothbrush, you squeeze the toothpaste so a small amount goes on the toothbrush, then you put the cap back on, you put the toothbrush in your mouth, you move it in circles on every tooth, and when you're finished, you rinse your mouth, you rinse your toothbrush, you spit out the water, and you put your toothbrush away. That's a sequence of events. You wouldn't brush your teeth with your toothbrush and then open up the tube and squirt out the toothpaste onto it and then rinse it off and put it away. That would be the wrong order. So that would not be a sequence. And that would be awfully silly and our teeth wouldn't get clean. We need to debug and do it the right way. Hi guys, today we're gonna to be talking about coding. Coding is when we give a computer instructions in a language it understands. We call those instructions algorithms. We use sequencing because sequencing helps us to put the algorithms in the correct order. To be a good computer programmer, you need to know how to problem solve. When coding, a lot of times things go wrong and we have to go back and fix it. We call fixing those problems debugging. Coding is all about building instructions for a computer and you as a programmer get to decide how to do it. I think that's pretty cool. So our activity today is gonna to be about sequencing. For our activity, we're gonna need some candy. I just used some leftover Halloween schools and then also some candy corn in two different colors and this worksheet, which you can find at ourfamilycode.com and also we'll have a link on our web page. For our activity, all we're gonna be doing is putting the candy on the correct shapes. So I'm using a skull instead of a pumpkin. So I would put my skull here and then I would put this color candy corn here because it matches. Now as we're doing this, this can be considered sequencing because we're putting the code in the correct order or I guess we're using candy for ours. So as you continue, you can see that sometimes it gets a little bit difficult or maybe different just with the different colors, but all that's important is that you match it, and remember, if you mess up, you can just go back and debug and fix it. If you wanted to, you can mix up the candy and try to fix it, um, but you could also just keep it simple and just leave it just how it is. Join us tomorrow for more spooky fun as the countdown of Chippy's 13 Days of Halloween continues.